right guys so you know nobody actually touches my cars i build my own cars but recently with the drift mustang i've landed at a point where i need some help so i got with my boy jesse at hella bad broncos Locked you out. <laughs> Yo, he locked us out, bro. I oh. Oh. Dude, that looked scripted, but it wasn't scripted. Yo, literally, this real. Yeah. Weld a diff. I'm welding a diff yep. to make the car consistent in drift because if you let off in a transition, you kind of lose the posi. I'm calling it posi, but the LSD, the limited slip. And then when you get back into it, there's kind of that delay and it can kind of mess you up. So I just want the car to be consistent. Yeah, so they're spinning at the same time. Yeah, we're just gonna blow it apart and weld it up and just slap it back together, put a bunch of new gear oil in it and go Call it a day. That's easy. Oh, new power steering pump. Yeah, so in the last video, CJ, I don't know if you saw it, but I started the car and the car started making this horrible whining noise and I ran what over. What did it sound like? It sound like, ing, 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 ing. Uh, like what's the worst? It sounded sound like a, <laughs> like a dying cat or, or two cats fighting. <laughs> Is that the right word? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I ran over, I grabbed some fluid, I threw it into the power steering, and you said I pretty much cavitated the pump. That's probably what happened, yeah. So now when you drive the car, like when you're going straight, um, it'll feel fine for a second, but then when you go into like low speed turning, it, you start fighting it and the power steering pump starts just mm. and then you're just, just fighting the steering wheel. Yeah. The last thing we want is to be mid drift and then you're fighting the steering wheel to go the other way. And you take out somebody's VQ. And you take out somebody's VQ. All right guys, good morning. Good morning, happy Saturday. It's been about a week been exactly a week since I've been at Jesse's shop, um, hella bad garage. So we're about to go inside and check out what the boys have done with the Mustang. All right guys, so Jesse isn't here right now, but I'm here with Dylan. Um, he's kind of overseeing a lot of the work done to the Mustang. So you wanna walk me through what you guys have done? Yeah, sure. Let's do this. So we went ahead and welded up the diff, took the diff out, cleaned it, welded it up. And then we also replaced the axle seals and then the pinion seals for the whole diff, so a whole fresh, uh, seal replacements or the whole rear and then we went ahead and put on the dual caliber brackets for the hydro brake and uh, Yeah, yes yeah, so all the simple stuff basically all the stuff that like do me doing it on the floor would have been a headache Yeah, a, jack, um, a lift made it way more easier than having it on jack stands for sure Yeah, and that's yeah. basically like my motto is hashtag built on jack stands Yeah, but I'm at the point where like I got to hurry up So like shout out to you guys and Jesse for yeah, getting absolutely. the Mustang up in the air and you also found a broken pin yeah, so we had to have you get that part today for us, and then we should be able to slap it in in a few minutes and then put everything together and it should be good to go. Yeah, so kind of a bummer, but this is why I've taken so long to put this car together, and then you advised me that there was like, what, a, like a cup of fluid in the rear diff? Oh yeah, it was probably like a, a quart to half a quart maybe that came out, so yeah, it definitely needed new seals all around. Yeah, so it was just leaking. Um, I could kind of tell on the exhaust right here, you kind of see where like the fluid was like splashing around. Um, but yeah, they went ahead and put a new seal on the front, cleaned it up for me. And let's see if we can get a shot of these, these beautiful welds right here. It's kind of dark, but yeah, you guys get the hint. There you go. Yeah, buddy. I'm excited now. <laughs> Is the diff on your uh, drift car welded? Yeah, it's welded. It's welded? It's welded. Yeah. What's your uh, social media handle? I'll plug it in. Uh, Aqua 350Z. Aqua 350Z. So hopefully we see each other soon. Soon. Lone Star or Club Loose or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Aside from getting the diff welded, like I mentioned earlier, I started the car with no fluid in the power steering after I did all that work and I cavitated the pump. Mm -hmm. So. It would drive okay going straight, but then after driving for a little while, it was really hard to turn the steering wheel. The last thing we want is a binding steering wheel while we're mid-drift. I mean, you never want a binding steering yeah. wheel. So uh, they went ahead and did that as well. There's not really much to show. I mean, let's see. Oh, oh, drop the new hotness. Yeah, I mean, it looks new. So there's that. <laughs> so yeah, new power steering pump. Got some fluid in there. And um, yeah, that's about it. We're about, we're about ready to rock and roll, fellas. I just gotta get this puppy home and uh, put the new uh, caliper, well, they're not new, they're used, uh, new calipers uh, in the back with some new pads and then plumb the hydro 
and I'm ready for a test day. You got to show me your test spots. Yeah. Because <laughs> I need to do a couple of hits, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm hoping this helps fix that. Maybe so. I think it was more of the second pull back was where you had the fight going in a little bit. But like in the second? Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's just stiff. So if you're just mentality is violent, then I think you're fine. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. But if you're just like casually come to a stop and you go to go in the second, you're like, oh, fuck. There it is, yeah. Yeah. I feel it right there. Yeah. No, third gear is the one that always gives me fucking problems. Yeah, that's my only complaint so far. Um, did you feel like the clutch was slipping or like it needs a new clutch? No? You feel like it's good? No. Yeah, that's my only complaint is always going to throw when I'm trying to go fast. Yeah. I, I've always missed it. Yeah. So those excuses of, like, people missing a shift and, like, roll racing each other, in the S197, I believe them now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then the um, this rod right here, so this is the Scotty D base plate and hydro mount. So I have a chase base handle. I didn't use the Scotty D handle. Um, but you were saying that, just trying to bleed this, it bent the rod that comes with it. Yeah, and then I bent it trying to just test it. <laughs> I'm like, well, so it got bent. So it is what it is. So they put a they put a sleeve over it. You painted it nice and black, so it looks really clean. And I, I mean, that feels really good. Well, it always has the Jesse finish to it because Jesse always like you pay attention to detail on the yeah. criminal level. It's so just... it's hard to see because I don't have. You know what? I'm gonna plug in the videos you sent me, where you can see the rods bent. Oh yeah. So and then the other thing to know, we talked about this. The the master cylinder I have is a three eighths, and everyone on the pages recommend a five eighths master. Um, What's that mean? Basically, the size of the master cylinder. So one is like pressure versus one pushing more volume. Uh, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and when you tested this, did it grab? Were you able to? It still, it still, like, drags you. It doesn't like pinch and lock. Okay. So I'm wondering if, because I have stock pads from the junkyard in there. <laughs> Those are not new pads. And um, I'm wondering if either a softer pad or again changing out that master will do something. So I'm going to play with it and figure it yeah. out. Or if it, this just needs heat in it before it grabs really hard. It, it shouldn't. It should be able to just yeah. grab them. So I think it, it's a pressure issue. There's not enough clamping force. So either the, the disc itself or, or you said it probably just yeah. needs a bigger master cylinder. And again, even like the disc, the discs on these are like super old. At least everyone's seeing the problems, though. You know, we're seeing... Yeah, small things, yeah. yeah. It's in, like, before you get on the track, right? But you, There's a million small things that you got to tweak before you get... Yeah. And the other thing is, too, like, on Scotty D's website, you can choose what size master you want, whether inline or external like we did. Yeah. Um, I got this from Chase Base. So I didn't pick a size. I just got what came with it. Yeah. Period. So, but good to know. We'll test some things out. Oh, that's gonna be crazy. Oh, yeah. I'm like, the shop's still fire, though. So then, how does it run from, like, ju the jump off rip? It's crazy. Uh, it feels like a whole different car now. <laughs> like, completely different. One predictable, like you said. You can feel... You Bro, can... it looks crazy. Like, when you, when you pull out, it looks crazy. Pause. And I it looks crazy. And I know you heard all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a movie. Uh, <laughs> hey, we, don't, we do everything on closed course around here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Oh, it's in a, it's in a place with trained professionals. Very trained. Very professional. Yeah, no, it runs. It runs really good. It runs. <laughs> How's your back, though? How's your back? It's good. Yeah, I hurt my back. So now we gotta, now we gotta get this bad boy home. We got more testing to do. Again, I mean, I was trying to mess with the the e brake. Oh, so you can actually see the uh, dual caliper setup now. Mm -hmm. So I purposely only painted the one red, so I know, like that's the that's the external one, mm -hmm. right? And then the other one's the one tied into the car. <sighs> I'm really happy. Yo, it, I mean, it sounds, looks <laughs> Yeah, I'm really mean. happy. It, it makes me want one. No, you're Everything is sick here. I'm so happy. We got a lot of testing to do. A lot of testing. Yeah. So what, three weeks? I go to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check out some car culture in Puerto Rico. And then uh, when we come back, it's that first drift event. So Yeah, we're not going to Puerto Rico. No, we're not. My wife I not. am. <laughs> <laughs> I am. And then after that, actually, we got a livery design coming up. So the car will be back here to get liveried up. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm excited, man. Thank you so much. Sorry for bothering I do you. need that rack and pinion. I gotta turn yes. it in. God. But honestly, 